Richard A.K. Metal Fan 2 here, and today we talk The Wretched Spawn by Campbell Corpse. Now, one thing to say about this album is, one thing to point out the big thing is when you first see it is the artwork. Ugh, well, it's just one of, it's super fucking gory. Like, way extreme. Like, I know Campbell Corpse are a death metal band, they do the most extreme fucking artworks, but this one, it just goes way too far. It's just, holy shit, like... Like, I didn't really enjoy the Gore Obsessed album artwork that much, but The Wretched Spawn is just super fucking, wow, what the fuck. Like, it had, like, a naked woman with sort of, like, shit coming out of her stomach. It's just, wow. That's just way, way extreme. It's just took it up way too far. And one thing to say about this album is that this is our last album to have Neil Curry in, in as producer. He produced, I believe, Gore Obsessed and this album. To be honest, he's not not really my favorite producer ever. I don't think, but he, for this album, he actually did not, not too bad bad job on this album. One thing to say is that the music it's better. I have to say it's gotten more better. It's catchy, and it's very much of an improvement. And the vocals are a little bit better than than on Gore Obsessed. It's very much of an improvement. In fact, I would consider the Wretched Spawn an, an improvement of what what Campbell Corpse had done before. But yeah, let's talk about the songs on this album. Now the album opens up with a song called Severe Headstoning, which is a very quick opener. It's like a little over a, a minute and a half. It's a good, it's pretty, pretty quick start and a quick song. It's a pretty good, good song I have to say. Next song is called Psychotic Precision, which has an impressive riff in there. there and, and George's screams on this album, in fact, it's pretty, it's gotten better I have to say. Very impressed about that song. Then we get to... One of my favorite songs is on this album called Decency Defied, Fied, which is uh, one of my favorite songs, and just it's just really heavy and just very groove, has a little bit of a groove in there. It's a pretty good song. Then we get to one of the most interesting songs, songs called Frantic Disembowelment, which is a pretty pretty good song. It's very has some very technical moments in that song. It's very impressive, I have to say. Then we get to next song is called Rotted Body Landslide. Now that's a good song title, which is has a pretty much a groove, and there's a pretty much a very fast part. And I really love how George Fisher actually screams at the end. Like he, his high singing on this album sounds better, better. It's a bit, a bit of an improvement. All right, next song is called Cyanide Assassin, which is has a very fast song. It, it, like the vo like Corpse Grinders can had sang that song way fucking fast. It's just blah, 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 blah. it's just very impressive. That, that's why I like Corpse Grinder. Just the way he sings on, on pretty much all of this, the Cowboy Corpse albums, like the way he sings and enunciates, I also said this on Va my Vow Review, is that just it's just very impressive. It's just one of the songs that stands out on this album. Album Sign Assassin. Alright, next song is Feastering in the Crypt, which is a, has a very slowerish song. It sort of slows down a little bit, but it's still not super slow. It's sort of slower. -er. But it has a little fast in there. It's sort of in the middle of fast and slow. It's but not, not really. It's sort of slowed down a little bit. But you know what I'm saying, right? Then we get to the next song. It's called "Nothing Left to Mutilate," which is another technical type song. It's just I don't know why. It's just technical for some fucking reason. All right. Next song is called "Blunt Force Castration," which has a little bit of a progressive side to it. I don't know. It just kind of sounds progressive. I don't, beats me. That's just my opinion. Then we get to the title track of the album, The Wretched Spawn. Which is just right in your face, just pummels you right there. It's a pretty good song. Next song is called Slain. Slain, which sort of, sort of that's one of the songs that the bass stands out. The bass actually sounds pretty good, good on this album. In fact, on all the albums, Alex Webster's bass pretty much are pretty good. Well, not except on Gorg's S, I don't think I heard any presence of bass. I think it was mixed too low, but yeah. That's just his big, that's just, just to see, that, yeah. that's just Alex Webster's stand-up moment, in my, my opinion. Right, there we get to, next song is called Bent Backwards and Broken, which had some impressive vocals on that song, it's pretty good. Then we get to the last song on the album, is called They Deserve to Die, which is a great way to close the album, and a sort of great performance from the band. Now, overall, this this album is a bit of an improvement from Gore Obsessed. Like, the band has actually played a lot better, and yeah. So anyway, the score. I would give The Wretched Spawn by Cowboy Corpse an 8 out of 10. Later, guys, and keep it metal.